um, it's crazy out here. This is uh, day two of me going out. Um, I think it's important that I go out for a couple of reasons. Uh, well, more than a couple of reasons. Uh, initially, sanity. Um, I've been cooped up for quite a while, um, observing very strictly the uh, shelter in place. But then it got to a point where I needed to get like some fresh air. It was definitely affecting me on a mental level. So I've always tried to just leave when it's kind of safe to do so. So I'm doing that now, uh, sunrise and stuff, but curfew is affecting that. So it gives me less time out to avoid people that are socially distant or responsible way. Um, and then the second reason is I feel like we all have a part to play in this. I feel like as a person who's competent, confident, um, and proficient with a camera, I have a duty to document this stuff because that's one of the things that I do. It's one of the things I'm good at, so I feel like I have a duty to do that. And so, I'm gonna take you guys along while I do that in a safe and responsible way. That's about it, really. Yeah, these are the trucks I was telling you about yesterday. Seems to be a lot of these. Um, let's take a different route this day. So I finally made it to the bridge, the one bridge that allows you to get into the center of town. This is on La Salle. significant amount of uh, glass on the floor and uh, yep it's quite peaceful right now um, I uh, just seen this though um, it's quite interesting I'm gonna check that out I don't know if you can see what that is but So, um, I think uh, I came across this car yesterday that was kind of smashed and I think I found where it was towed to just randomly. Uh, So there's been like a lot of comments to defund the police. I'll admit, I don't know too much about it. I've done a little bit of research on it and the initial thoughts when you hear those words, defund the police are kind of crazy. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what's gonna happen if, you know, there's a, an emergency situation? And I don't think, from what I gather, it's not as straightforward as that. What it's suggesting is there's an inordinate amount of money, resources, and time given to just a police force and the police are actually given a really hard task they're expected to be social workers they're expected to deal with mental health they're expected to deal with so many different things and it's just not possible for them to deal with all those things and part of the problem is a lot of the money that's been allocated to them hasn't been allocated to other areas so you will have facilities for dealing with people with mental health issues you will have them not having the money that they were used to having before social areas not given the money that they were allocated before so when they're saying defund the police it's not abolish the police although in some cases some people are very much of the opinion you should do that i think for most part people are saying 
we need to really look at the amount of money that's being allocated to just this one resource and we need to give some consideration as to other forms of doing it. There's a multitude of different areas where we can spend the money that's been allocated and really make a difference. But I need to do some more research and you guys should probably too.